in this session we will understand something called as accruals and deferrals in sap okay what exactly are accruals and deferrals we will first understand the difference between accruals and deferrals with one example and then we will see how this can be carried out in sap so this accruals and deferrals is also one of the part one of the activity that needs to be done in the period end closing before you generate your financial statements so let's understand what exactly is accruals and what are deferrals and what are the differences between the two okay i'll can give you the simple example accruals are nothing but the expenses which are not booked in your system till now but you know that they are already completed okay so expenses which are not currently booked in the system but it has been carried out in a particular month just assume we are in the month of april today okay and your company is taking sap training so you are a participant and your company is taking sap training in the month of april as a trainer i will be submitting the bill to your company in the month of may so once your company receives the bill they will enter that into the sap system and in sap system the expense will be booked in the month of may but in this particular case that would be the wrong accounting why because if the expense has been already carried out in the month of april we should not book in the may right so this is one example of accrual what happens in accruals is accruals are those expenses which are already taken place in a particular month but the bill has not received from the vendor which means they will be booked as expense in the next month so what is the correct way to book this we can create the provisions now what exactly the provisions provisions means if you already know that this expense has been carried out in this particular month irrespective of whether the bill has been received or the vendor has been paid or not we should book this expense in the current month itself okay so that is accrual so let me enter this example that i gave you so expenses okay to be specific with this example let's say training expenses or training which got completed in april and invoice when i say invoice this means the vendor invoice vendor invoice received in may so this is a very good example of accruals where the expenses have been actually carried out in april but the invoice has been booked in the month of may right so what is deferrals then how deferrals are different from the accruals so if i take the same example in this case what is happening training is given first and then the bill is received okay so the training is given in the month of april and the bill is received in the may there can be the reverse scenario when the bill has been received invoice has been received in april and training will be delivered in may okay so deferrals means the expenses are still not done okay so we are still not taken the training the take the training will be taken in the month of may but at the same time we received a bill so what will happen is in the month of april we have to book the expense which is wrong because the expense should have been booked in the month of may so in this case again what we need to do is we need to tell the system that okay we booked the expenses in the month of april but this belongs to may so we have to make that proper adjustment so that the expenses are not shown in april they are shown in may right so this is example which i gave you from the expense point of view there can be accrued revenues also there can be deferred revenues also okay so it will be again same what is the accrued revenue accrued revenue means those revenues which are already we know that this revenue is already triggered but the billing will be created in the month of may 
right accrued revenues means the services has been already provided this particular month but we will be able to bill this customer in the subsequent month so let me write it here when we say uh revenues so in terms of revenues is services already performed but customer will be billed in may so services are performed in the month of april and this customer will be billed in may similarly what is deferred revenue then so in case of deferred revenues is billing is already created but actual services will be provided to customer in may right so these are the examples of accrued expenses accrued revenues these are the examples of deferred expenses and deferred revenues so now the question is how are we going to do these things in sap system okay so let's talk about a scenario i'll take one scenario i think uh, you will be able to understand all the scenarios if i just take you practicality of one scenario so let's assume that i'll take this scenario training which got completed in the month of april and the vendor receives the uh, you receive the invoice from the vendor in the month of may so what will happen in this case is at the end of april okay there is no invoice received from the vendor but your company knows that yes the training was took place in the month of april so what they will simply do is they will book the accounting entry that would be the expense account okay this would be booked in the end at the end of april itself this will not be booked at the month of may in the month of may when you receive the invoice obviously uh, whatever accounting entries you want to post that will be booked in the month of may so expense account would be debit with whatever its expenses let's say it is 10000 inr and corresponding entry because we are not going to specify the vendor here because we have not received the vendor invoice so simply what we can say is this is nothing but outstanding liability okay we know that this is going to be the liability but we are just creating a provision out of it so that will go to the outstanding liability account okay and this will be credited to this particular gl account so expense debit to outstanding liability credit okay now this i only need to book at the end of april okay because this is a provision entry i need to reverse it so i have to do the reversal on 1st of may okay on the 1st of may whatever entries have been triggered here it would be exactly the reversal of that entry so whatever has been debited will become credit and whatever has been credited will become debit so expense will become credit and outstanding liabilities will become debit so if you see the overall accounting there is the knock off okay so whatever expense was debited here has got credited and whatever outstanding liabilities were debit credited here got debited okay and finally in the month of may let's assume on 15th of may vendor sent the invoice okay so what will happen in this case the actual booking so actual expense account will become debit with whatever is the amount and the actual vendor account will become credit because at this point of time you know who is a vendor and he has given you the invoice so this will complete the accruals process so accruals is actually this one these are the two things that we need to understand in accruals so in order to execute this two transactions in sap we need to have two different transaction codes this is fbs1 transaction code and the second transaction which we normally use to reverse is f.81 okay so these are the two transactions that we need from the accruals point of view okay let's try to see this transaction now in sap so what i'll do is i'll simply go to transaction fbs1 
okay you can see it is enter accrual deferral accounting document if you see the difference there is only one difference here there is only this additional reversal reason and reversal date otherwise it is just like a normal accounting transaction right so you will enter the date let's say i'm entering this i'm going to do this at the uh, this is a provision entry so i'm posting this on the last day of the month whatever the accounting document type you want uh, the company code should be sf01 in my case this is also 3004 2020 okay and you can if you want to enter some document header text for your reference you can definitely do that okay and here in the reversal reason the standard reversal reason which is provided by sap is 05 which is accrual and deferral posting if you want to create your own i will show you in the configuration you can create it okay and the reversal date so when we want to reverse this if you see this example we want to do this reversal on first of may immediately on the next day so 01 05 2020 okay so this is the document that we want to post and what we want to post we want to post the expense account debit and outstanding liability account credit so simply i will write posting key 40 which means debit okay for which account expense account so it will show me all the list of accounts i'll select the corresponding account here so in my case let's go with this training expense account okay let's press enter ignore the warning message so whatever is the amount okay and obviously if it is a cost it will require the cost center so let me enter some cost center here again if you want to enter some text you can do it okay and the credit entry will go to outstanding liabilities so 50 is credit the gl account and which gl account i want to credit i want to credit let's assume i want to uh, the outstanding liability okay again press enter enter your amount here and done so now if i go to document and simulate see what is happening so on 30th of april I am posting the accounting document in which I am telling the system that although I have not received this invoice from the vendor, but I know this expense has been carried out in this month. Okay, and the outstanding liability because I still not have not received the invoice. That is the reason. This is the clearing account which I am using just to, uh, yeah, just to till the time I am not getting the actual vendor invoice right and you can see it is also showing you the reversal reason and reversal date here itself okay so just click on save this will generate the accounting document you can go to document and you can say display okay you can see this document has been created now and now in order to reverse in order to reverse the document on first of may i need to execute another transaction that is f.81 okay so f.81 you can go to transaction f.81 and what exactly it will do here you need to specify your company code okay and if you want to just reverse one document you can enter that number but normally this is a month end process and there can be multiple uh, accrual and different documents which you want to post together so instead of providing the document number just try to execute it will show you all the documents which needs to be reversed okay so here you need to uh, first you need to verify with the test run whether everything is working fine let's try to execute it so you can see this is a document which we just now posted on 30th of april and it is going to be reversed on first of may so if your document is coming here everything is fine you can just remove the test run and you can actually do the actual run and system will create a reversal document for you All right so that completes the second part which is the reversal on 1st of may and once you receive the actual invoice on the 15th of 